So suppose a ball is thrown upward with an initial velocity of 30 meters per second. Neglecting air resistance, let's find A, how high does the ball go, and B, how long does the ball spend in the air. So let's begin with A. Let's suppose our ball begins on the ground and we set the ground to have a position of zero meters. So our y naught is zero meters. Now we are given that our initial velocity, v naught, is 30 meters per second. So we want to find what our displacement of the ball is. What is our final position, y, of the ball? Now we know because we are told, since we're neglecting air resistance, our acceleration is the gravitational constant 9.80 meters per second squared. Now, notice our velocity is pointing upward along the y-axis and our acceleration is pointing downward. So that means our acceleration is negative. Our object is actually decelerating as it's traveling upward. So let's use the following formula to find our final position. Why? Well, because we know every single variable here beside the y, and we want to find it. So let's use this formula. And let's rearrange this entire equation to get y on one side and everything else on the other side. So we bring our v initial or v naught squared to this side. Then we divide both sides by 2a, and we bring over our v uh, not or our y naught. So y naught is assumed to be zero, and v final is also assumed to be zero. Why? Well, when the ball reaches the highest possible position, its velocity is zero. At that point, it begins to travel downward. So our v in it or v final is zero. So this term cancels out, and this term also cancels out. So we have. 0 squared minus 30 uh, meters per second squared divided by 2 times negative 9.8 meters per second squared. So the top and bottom are negative, so our answer should be positive. So we have 900 divided by 19.6, and we get approximately 45.9 meters. Once again, why is that gravitational constant negative? Because it's in the opposite direction of our velocity. Our velocity is positive going upward, and our gravitational constant is pointing downward. And so that means the signs are opposite. So that means our final position of our ball is 45.9 meters above our ground. So this distance is 45.9. Let's move on to part B. How long does the ball spend in the air? So let's draw our diagram. So once again, we have the ball. It begins at the ground. We make our V in, or Y initial zero meters. It begins at the ground. It travels 45.9 meters upward, switches directions, and begins traveling downward. Now because our acceleration is constant, because we neglect air resistance, the time it takes the ball to travel upward is the same exact time as it takes the ball to travel downward. So, the way we're going to attack this problem is by finding the time it takes the ball to travel upward and then multiply that value by 2. So, let's use the following equation. Why? Well, because we know all the variables beside our time. So, we know what our v final is. It's 0 meters. In other words, when our ball reaches the highest point, its velocity is 0. Our v initial is given to be 30 meters per second, and our acceleration is negative 9.0 meters per second squared. So, we plug all these values in, and then we solve for t, and we find our uh, number by doing the following calculations. So we get t is equal to, so top and bottom are negative. Why? Well, once again, our acceleration is actually our deceleration. It's negative, and we have to bring this uh, 30 meters per second to the other side because we're solving for t. So when we bring this to the other side, it becomes negative. We divide both sides by negative 9.8, and we get the following value. 30 divided by 9.8, is approximately positive 3.1 seconds. So it takes 
the ball to travel from our ground to the highest, po uh, the highest position in 3.1 seconds and then it takes that same amount of time to travel from that position back to the ground and so we get 3.1 seconds multiplied by 2 gives us approximately 6.2 seconds. So it takes the ball 6.2 seconds to begin from our ground to travel upward and back to the ground.